Hi boys and girls. Now we have another activity that we're going to be sharing with you that you can make with your families at home. Um, Mackenzie, can you help us so it, it will... Yes. Okay, she wants me not to touch it, so I'm trying I'm not being to touch nice. It. <laughs> okay, so this activity is for you to use in reviewing letter identification letter sounds, and you can also use it in number recognition, number matching. Okay, so first thing I wanna show you is that we have been collecting bottle caps for like a week, maybe two weeks. I put a little baggie um, beside our pantry door downstairs, and you can do this um, with any kind of caps, okay? And so we've been collecting them. Some of them are from um, like soda bottles. Some of them are from water bottles. Just throw them all in together and you can use them. It starts to become a very nice collection after a while. Um, the next thing is um, an A carton, okay? I'm trying to use things that you would have at your house right now um, that we don't have to go anywhere or get anything. These are just normal things that we're gonna um, be accumulating while we're quarantined at home. Okay, so um, to use those two things together, you have an option. Now what I did is um, I started by taking my Sharpie, which hopefully everyone has a Sharpie. If not, you can use a marker or on one of your grocery store runs or errands, um, you can pick one up, okay? But use whatever you have, a regular Sharpie, regular marker will do fine. Um, I wrote in the bottom of the little A carton, the letter. I'm gonna have a little close up so you can see. Now what I did, I wrote the lowercase letters. Now, as I was trying to do this, I realized when I got over here, I made a mistake. Um, I accidentally then put a capital letter and I went, oh no, what am I gonna do? Well, problem solving. We traced on a piece of paper, just a little post-it note. We traced around a lid and then we cut it out and we took it and we put it on top of here. And we realized as we were doing that, voila, we made another uh, modification for this little game, this activity, so that you can use it two ways. Um, your family, family may not go through eggs as quickly as we do at my house. <laughs> we go, and go through them pretty fast, so uh, we'll have another one of these very, very soon. But um, you may need to kind of make yours last for a while. So you can use it and put all lowercase letters in the bottom. Now, and then you can take the little plastic piece of paper and then put it on top and put the capitals on there. So you can switch them in and out depending on what you wanna do, okay? Um, yeah. Or if you just don't wanna actually write on the egg carton at all, That's you right. could just use those instead of writing on this. Yes. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, so we went through and we continued putting all the lowercase in the A carton itself, okay? So, we took all the little lids and we put the capitals in them. Now, as I was doing that, I realized some of them you have to be careful because it's gonna be turned around and the lowercase B could look like, you know, a P. It could be a Q, you know, depending on how we turn it and if we squint our eyes or not. <laughs> so, Putting that line at the bottom will help our little friends know how to turn the bottle cap, which way is the bottom. Now, um, being able to put them in here, this A carton holds, oh wow, uh, one and a half dozen. So, um, we have quite a few letters in ours. <laughs> you may not have as large of an A carton or you may have one of the larger ones. Whatever your family has, you can use it. It's not a problem. But Mackenzie's gonna help me, and the way that you can do this is one of the ways that we're gonna do it. Okay, so Mackenzie, what letter is this? This is an S. S. Can you find the lowercase S? Yes. Good job, okay, thank you. 
now I gave her a letter. Now another way is to line them up. I'm gonna pretend like they're all lined up here nice and neat. And then I'm gonna say, Mackenzie, can you find the lower or the capital B? Very nice. So then she found it. Mackenzie, what sound does that B make? B. Good B. job. Can you find the lowercase B? Nice. Good job. Okay. So that's another way. Now to have all the letters out, that's kind of a bit much. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just give her two letters, okay? At a time, I'm gonna say, okay, Mackenzie, out of those two letters, can you pick which one makes the t, -t sound? T. T, good job. So I'm changing and I'm modifying and I'm kind of tweaking. Every time we do the activity, you can do it also a little different. So it's the same basic thing that you're using, the A carton, the bottle caps, but you can change it each time. And every time you change it, you're gonna be um, challenging your little one and helping them understand, okay? Because if they're identifying the letter, if they're choosing the letter, if they're telling you the letter, those are different skills. So every single time you do it, you can make it a little different. Okay, can you find the lowercase t? Yes, I can. Once my yawns I stop. think I see some yawns in there. Okay. Everyone's rubbing off on me. She's, a, she's asleep somewhere. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm gonna give her a few letters. I gave her three this time. Um, Mackenzie, can you find the low, the capital D? I keep wanting to do lowercase. Good, now can you find the lowercase D? Good job, and what sound does D make? Duh, duh. Good job. Now can you find a capital A? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, Good job. Ah. Mm -hmm. ah, 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 ah. Okay. Like an alarm clock. Ah. Oh, oh it hopped in the right spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, can you find the capital V? Good. Where does the lowercase V go? Right here. Good. The, the. Okay. Now, um, we're going to continue doing this and we're gonna finish all these up. Now, one of the ones, um, we are doing D and W this week. The rest of the letters, I just chose randomly, okay? Whatever your little one wants to put in, y'all can do that together. Um, I would take the time, um, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever, or auntie or uncle, to be sure and write the letters yourself. That way they get written correctly. Um, and then, as you're writing, then your friend can help put them in where they belong. Okay, so that's good teamwork, that's right. So those are the rest, we're gonna put them over here. Now we did make some mistakes in the beginning. Um, I did um, make a duplicate capital D and I realized that's okay, you know what? Because then I already have my lowercase written in the A carton. I have my capital D already in there so then I can match my capital to my capital because that is one of the activities that some of my friends are having a difficult time with, just matching capital to capital. And some of us aren't quite to the point where we can match the capital to the lowercase, which is fine, we'll get there. But I wanted to be able to show you the different ways to make it a little easier and a little difficult more difficult <laughs> according to what your child needs. Okay, the next activity. Let me get it. Okay, this is oh. one that I sent home the other day um, in a picture. And so you're gonna going use a, a lid to a box or um, it can be a shoe box Anything that you have around, a shoebox is even fine too. Anything, cardboard, even a piece of paper even. And you're gonna find cars, or you can make cars out of a piece of paper. Now those little made, little piece of paper cars, you can just make them an oval, or as our shape for the week, for these two days actually, rectangle, that can be a pretend car. You make it fit what you have. That's what it boils down to, okay? 
I was able to raid my son's closet. <laughs> and so we found these. Uh, we took little post-it notes and we taped some letters on the top of the cars. Now we decided to do capital letters on the cars. What is this? C. C. Good job. And what sound does C make? K. K. Good. What letter is this? H. H. What sound does H make? <sighs> Good. What letter is this? A. A. What sound does A make? Ah. Ah. We're gonna get that A sound out. <laughs> okay, the next one. What letter is this? W. What sound does W make? Wah, wah. Good job. Um, here we go. What letter is this? T. What sound does T make? T, 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 t. Good job. Um, next one. What letter is this? D. What sound does D make? D, 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 d. d. Very good. Okay. Now, these others have numbers. I'm putting them over to the side. We'll do the numbers in a minute. Now, this is, I told Mackenzie, she wanted me to explain that too. I said, this is a parking garage or a parking lot. And these are the parking spots that the cars go in. So, I'm gonna have to put the little board down a little so the cars can go in their parking spots. Mackenzie, can you help me find the letter? Now, I did it two ways. Let me say it one more time. I'm gonna match capital to capital for some of them, okay? And then some of them, I went on and put the lowercase on here. I'm gonna show you a little closer. And then the car is gonna have the same, so it's gonna be matching. Lowercase is over here. These are capital, so I'm putting a capital to a capital. That's the matching. Or, like this one, I have a capital on the car and then a lowercase on the, on the paper. So the parking spot, they're matching a capital and a lowercase. It can be either way. I would try first doing to see if your little one can do the lowercase and the capital, okay? And when you're starting it, I would just start with like six at a time. Don't do the whole alphabet. That's a bit overwhelming. <laughs> That's a lot of letters. So just start with like six letters. Start with the lowercase and then put the capital on the cars or vice versa and see if they can match the capital and the lowercase together. If they can't, then back down a notch. Let's see then if we can do capital to capital, okay? So, here we go. Mackenzie's gonna help us. Mackenzie, can you find the letter that's the capital D to go right there? Good job. Now you can make the car sound go. Good job, good job, Mackenzie. Okay, the next letter is what letter? A w. W, can you find the car, oops, oh, no. yeah, the parking spot's moving. Okay, there we go. Can you throw it? Drive it? Yeah, drive it over there. There you go. I'm gonna hold them in their parking spot so they don't move. Okay, the next one, now we have some lowercase letters. We have a lowercase h. Can you find the capital H on the car? Yes, ma'am. This one. There we go, okay. I think what, my car sounds uh, nice. It's a there wonderful car sound, Thank you. yes. yes. <laughs> the next one is a lowercase a. Can you find the capital A, please? Yes, ma'am. And what sound does that make? Ah, 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 ah. That's okay, that's okay. Room. Okay. That's a quick room. That was a quick one, yeah. You distracted me. <laughs> next letter is a C. What sound does C make? <laughs> that's nice. the one I actually have down. C. <laughs> Crash, I mean, okay. don't crash. Next one is a, what letter? T. T, can you find the capital T that matches the lowercase t? C. Mm. Very nice. It's a slow part. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it around. Now on the other side, I put numbers. I mixed them up so that you have to identify and match the numbers. 
that's part of what we want all of our friends to be able to do. Now, it's the same basic, basic skill. You're gonna identify the number. What is that? Four. Four. Now, the numbers are not in order. So you can't think, hey, I know four. It comes after three, but before five. It's not gonna help this time because they're not in order. You just have to match which one is the four. And if you can match it, then you can park it in the right spot. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, Mackenzie. Can you find, so now I'm gonna make it a little tougher on her. Mackenzie, can you find the number five car? Yes, I can. Can you find the number five spot? Yes, I can. Vroom, right there. Okay, good job. <laughs> okay, now can you find the number one car? Yes, I can. Can you find the number one spot? Yes. Zoom. Uh, we had a, good he had job. trouble parking. He had trouble, yes. Okay, now can you find the number two car? C. There you go, number two spot. Good job. Now, can you find the number three card? And the number three parking spot. Good job. We have one left. What's the last number? Six. Good job. Can you find the number six card? Yes, I can. That's backwards. Man, he can drive backwards. This isn't real. There we go. Okay. So, boys and girls, you are matching. You are identifying. You are using the same activity with letters and with numbers. And then we also have the matching and identifying with letters and numbers that you can do with the A cartons, capitals and lowercase. And we have the writing and fine motor in the rice. Now, the last thing I wanna do um, is another activity that we're gonna be sorting by size. So we're gonna make one more video for it well, one more, and then we have a book to read also. <laughs> so um, we'll see you back in just a minute. Thanks, guys. Bye.